A deal to release some hostages taken in the Hamas terrorist attack on Israel is closer than ever, according to sources. It would also include a temporary ceasefire. Word of the truce comes on the same day Israel says it has surrounded a refugee camp searching for Hamas members. NBC's Alice Barr has the details from Washington. An agonizing wait could soon be over for some of the families of the more than 200 Hamas held hostages. Sources, including a senior U.S. official, telling NBC News a tentative deal has been reached pending Israeli approval. Israeli government leaders have been meeting throughout the day to work through the details, following negotiations mediated by the U.S. and Qatar. We're now very close. President Biden stressing how tenuous the deal still is. Nothing is done until it's done. For the families waiting for word, weeks of worrying are now compounded into one pressing question. Is my family going to be uh, in this first batch or not? Israeli-American Galia Mizrahi has four family members held hostage by Hamas. Her cousins aged 17, 11 and 9 and their mother. Under the potential deal, a senior U.S. official telling NBC News roughly 50 women and children hostages Hamas took into Gaza would be freed in exchange for around 150 Israeli-held Palestinian prisoners, many of whom would also be women and children. Israel would run security checks on any prisoners released. The sources said there would be a four- to five-day pause in fighting to allow for the hostage exchange. And in addition, as many as 300 to 400 trucks of humanitarian aid per day would be allowed into Gaza along with more fuel trucks. Hamas says it needs to move around freely to consolidate the remaining hostages and to facilitate that, Israel may agree to suspend overhead drone flights for up to six hours a day. If the temporary ceasefire holds, more hostages could be released as desperate families wait. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.